In this video, we're going to talk about setting up your development environment. So for Java development, uh, we're going to need any operating system, which is probably an operating system that you are using, uh, Mac OS, Windows, Linux. I'm saying 8 gig of memory is probably the minimum. Uh, 16 gig or more is probably preferred just because of the nature of uh, running Java and our IDEs and, and whatnot. And they do tend to uh, take up a, a good bit of memory. Uh, we will be using Java 11 or higher. Uh, you can use the official Oracle Java or OpenJDK. That is uh, up to you. But be sure to have uh, JDK installed. Docker Engine 2.0.10 or 0 or higher is what I'm uh, recommending for the course. And then uh, as far as build tools, if we get into those, uh, we'd be using Maven version 3.6.0 or higher. Ideally, you want that installed for command line use. If you have any questions about that, uh, see the official Apache Maven documentation. They do a pretty good job of explaining that, and it, it does vary depending on what operating system you are, are using. So verify your environment. Make sure that Java is installed. You can do that with Java minus version. Make sure the JDK is installed. I see that happen sometimes uh, where you install the incorrect flavor of Java and get a JRE rather than a JDK. And to verify that, you can use Java C version. That tells you that the Java compiler is there. Therefore, you have the JDK. Maven, uh, from the command line, ideally, you'll be able to run MVN-V to show the version. And then Docker, of course, we want to see Docker PS. In the source code examples, I will be using IntelliJ Ultimate. This is a paid product, but it is not required. Uh, I am using every. Anything that we build is going to be used through Maven. That is the build tool, which is supported by uh, free IDE options such as STS, Eclipse, and NetBeans. Uh, so those all support Maven. Maven can also be solely used from the command line. So you could use just a text editor and the command line and you would be just fine. So IntelliJ definitely is not required for the course. Kubernetes, as we get into the Kubernetes content, you are going to need access to a Kubernetes cluster. Now, online, you can use uh, the OpenShift Playground. Just Google OpenShift Playground. It'll take you right to it. Uh, you can get a, a free hour uh, within a Kubernetes cluster to, to do what you would like. Uh, I will be running locally. So if you've uh, installed Docker Desktop, I am running a Mac OS, and I have installed that. You can simply uh, enable that. So uh, via Docker Desktop, this is probably going to be the easiest option if you have Docker Desktop installed. And then uh, Minikube is a VM-based that is available for most major operating systems. Or Kind, this is a another project and that is Docker-based. And depending on how you set things up, uh, you do want to have uh, Cube Control configured to connect to your cluster options. So depending on how you've uh, decided to run your cluster, that is going to be one option that you can utilize.